so uh, here I am with my new hack uh, and it's on my car so uh, this is the inside of my car and it's a uh, Hyundai i10 uh, small car perfect for city driving condition and what I am going to do is uh, hack the CAN bus that's available in the car and that is available through the OBT uh, that's the onboard diagnostic port and I'm just going to show you here so uh, you can see here the OBD2 so that's a plug and uh, this is a, a separate plug that I have connected here so uh, since uh, this car is from India and in India we have the steering on the right hand side so it should not come as a surprise to many of you so uh, coming to my hack now so uh, this is a board uh, that I that I'm going to use uh, for the CAN bus hacking of my car and it basically has one main controller uh, that is DSP DSP 33 FJ 128MC802 uh, so that's a, a 28 pin uh, deep package uh, DSP engine based microcontroller from a microchip and uh, the reason I choose this is that uh, it has a uh, can uh, module which is which is available as a peripheral in this device and uh, for that matter you can choose any device which has a, a can uh, f like for example you can choose uh, PIC 18F 4585 or similar devices and what I did is and uh, the reason why why I choose this 3.3 volts device is because I am planning to connect a SD card over here and so that I can uh, and so that I can uh, gather all the data uh, when while I'm driving my car and 3.3 uh, volts is perfect for SD card and 5 volts again we have to put a lot of resistor things like that it has two voltage regulator uh, 5 volts and 3.3 volts and this is the uh, connector by which I'll be connecting to my uh, this is the plug which goes to my OBD connector and this and the 4 pin really mate it goes and sits over here uh, this is the connector for LCD and uh, this is a uh, MCP2551 CAN a trans receiver and, uh, and that is running on 5 volts and because it runs at 5 volts I have to use a small uh, interfacing logic so that I can convert the 3.3 volts to 5 volts while transmitting and few resistors here so that I can convert from uh, from uh, from a five vo five volts to three point three volts and then get into my controller. And uh, this is the LCD that I have. I'm, it's a it's a uh, it's a four row LCD commonly available in the market. Now what I'm going to do is so this is the plug which fits in uh, fits behind the scan gauge and I don't have this wire separately so I have chosen this plug the other part of the plug so I'll take this out and then fix it back to uh, this one to my uh, cable here so that I can get the readings on my on my uh, LCD and so uh, let me run and then show you how does the value really works and so uh, what I'll do right now is that uh, I'll start the engine and then connect my board that's over here you can see the scan gauge I have disconnected so that my board is over here and uh, I'll connect this to the uh, to the plug that comes out of my OBD connector start the car and let's see if I can see the display uh, on the LCD So the car is started and the RPM is at idling, you can see here. And uh, let me connect, uh, let me put on the light. Uh, the, I, I didn't uh, connect a backlit to the LCD and so it's kind of dark uh, when there is not you know, enough light around. So yeah, so I've connected the car and let's see, yeah. Yeah, so it shows uh, the engine RPM correctly, the load correctly and yeah a couple of things it shows correctly uh, the 
as you can see uh, the refresh rate I have kept it pretty small so there is it doesn't change much faster so let me try and give it a little throttle so basically the engine speed and the load and the throttle should change so yeah so the engine is so it's 2086 20 percent load throttle is around 10 10 percent so yeah it works pretty nicely and i've left the throttle and the speed should come back again yeah it has come to 834 again the load has come to 23 percent and uh, the speed it doesn't show much uh, i mean the speed in kilometer per hour it doesn't show much because i'm not driving the vehicle currently well i tried doing it but i think it's a little dangerous uh, because you know it's a manual shift car and i have to use both my hands to uh, in to keep it driving uh, but my idea is it should run perfectly even uh, even though i mean even when i'm driving so uh, what it shows here is that uh, the uh, the circuit works pretty nicely and uh, overall i can have a lot of um, parameters from the engine which can be displayed over here my main idea is to have the is to have the um, the mileage and uh, the load on the engine uh, to be shown on real time and i'm planning to put it over here somewhere so uh, probably take it and fix it some way over here and I am also planning to uh, connect a few LEDs uh, which will be on the dashboard somewhere here and as I increase the speed of the car it shows or I can uh, so it's like a view meter that was available in the older you know older uh, music systems and it basically shows how much is the load on the engine so I can put it to a suitable value and get the maximum mileage out of my car so uh, if you uh, like uh, whatever is the hack available uh, that I have done so you can uh, refer to my website which has the entire code available and the hand-drawn schematic of the hardware and you can use it to make whatever you want yeah and another point that I forgot to mention is about the software so the software is made uh, entirely from the microchip application node which is AN1249 and it's for you know the CAN bus a very generic software to uh, enable a CAN bus on DSP and you can uh, enable the CAN bus and it uses a very simple 11-bit uh, standard ID CAN and it runs on t at 500 kilobits per second that is available on the Hyundai car that I have I'm not sure if other cars follow the similar protocol um, but uh, it's it's good um, it this uh, software uh, from microchip I have just changed it slightly and uh, it runs perfectly uh, to uh, my requirement so uh, the software is available on my website which is basically the same as microchips uh, software but with a slight modification to display the parameters that I need on the LCD and um, and the hardware as you can see is very simple and if you want you can make it by yourself I'll just show you the back side so even this is very simple uh, if you want you can make a PCB out of it and uh, go ahead and fix it on your car